So this is the BBC Microbit, and this is the Kitronic motor driver board for the BBC Microbit. The BBC Microbit is a great little board, but one of the things it can't do is drive high current loads, such as motors, which is why we have designed this motor driver board. The BBC Microbit plugs into the connector here. Now this connection has been mirrored, so you can also plug the Microbit in this way around. It is your choice. The board then also has a number of terminal blocks. This one here is used to power the board. The motor driver board also sends power up to the Microbit, so you don't need to use a second power source to power this board. Then here, We have two connections. The first one is for motor one, and the second one is for motor two. This motor can be driven by this board in either direction, forward and reverse. We then also have four more terminal blocks. These two allow two additional inputs to be connected to pins P1 and P2 on the micro bit. So these are fed through here, up through the connector to those connections on the edge here. And then we also have connections for button A and button B. So these are in parallel to button A and button B on the BBC Microbit. In August 2016, we replaced this version of the motor driver board with a new updated version. The new updated version has these extra pin connections just here. This allows the extra connections on the BBC Microbit to be used in addition to the ones that are connected to the terminal blocks. The microbit is inserted with the display facing these pads and these can now be used to connect to the pins on the microbit. These pads are spaced so that you can use them with pin strips should you wish. Or you can solder directly to these pads. These can then be used to connect things like additional outputs such as actuators or lots of inputs for things like sensors. Now let's take a look at some projects that we can make using this board. So here's one example of a use of the motor driver board. In this example, we've created a buggy. So there's two motors, one here and one here, and these are connected to the two motor driver outputs. So one's connected to motor one, the other motor's connected to motor two. We then have also got some sensors on the bottom here, one here and one here, and these are used to detect a line on, on the desk. So if the sensor crosses it, it knows it's crossed the line, this is sent back up to the BBC microbit. The microbit decides what to do and it can cause the buggy to turn and track the line. In this project, we've used the accelerometer on the microbit to detect when it's been tipped forward, which makes the crane go down, backwards, makes the crane go up, left, or right. The accelerometer picks this up and sends the signal to the motor driver board. For more accessories and project ideas for the BBC Microbit, please visit kitronic.co.uk.